up YouTube welcome back to my channel keto with Sammy for today's video we're going to be doing a snack video now these are not all the snacks that you can eat on keto these are just mainly the snacks that I keep in my house and I'll be doing different snack videos in the future for y'all as I find different snacks for y'all to have on keto so for the first snacks these are just my pantry snacks that I keep on the house I keep a few of them the main snack that I do keep in my pantry are chicharrones for those of y'all that do not know what chicharrones are, it's just fried pork skin. And this is the HEB brand in chili lime. And these have zero net carbs and zero sugars. Now there's all kinds of chicharron brands, all different flavors. You just have to look at your nutrition facts. Most of them are okay. So if you are a big chip fan, these are a great substitute because you get that crunch and you get that saltiness that you want. And they're just a great snack, especially for on the go. You just want to take them with you somewhere at work. They're very good. They look like this. The chili lime flavor is really good. If you haven't tried this, give it a go. So that's our first snack. So for our second snack, are these blue diamond roasted salted almonds these are really good these only have two net carbs and one gram of sugar these are the salted ones they look something like this another great salty crunchy snack that you can just pop in your purse have them on and go for work or wherever you are if you're going on vacation you need some to go snacks for in the car these are a great substitute mm, really good Another great snack in the nut family, these are some pecans. You can have some pecans on keto for it's a great snack. These contain one net carb per one fourth cup. I love pecans, especially like in desserts or just to eat them whenever you know you feel like having a little snack. And I saved the best for last. I am addicted to these chocolates. I cannot live without these. I actually keep them in my freezer because to me they taste so much better frozen even though they're really good when they're not frozen also but my favorite ones are the pecan delights okay so when you get um sweet stuff you want to subtract the sugar alcohol with the dietary fiber and the total carbs so these have two net carbs per two pieces so i always have like one or two. my max is two a day i try not to eat them every day but it's hard they actually have the peanut butter flavor in here. I'm not a big fan of peanut butter, but my husband loves the peanut butter flavor. I'm telling you, these are the bomb. So the Pecan Delight is my favorite one. I have to have one like every day. They'll look like this. Mm. These are heaven. Heaven. I have to have these in my freezer because I crave them all the time. But they have tons of flavors. Peanut butter, they have toffee, they have dark chocolate, caramel, the pecan delight. They have all kinds of flavors. So this is another great sweet snack they can have on keto. They're awesome. So now for our fridge snacks, what I always keep in my fridge at all times, especially for me, my kids and my husband, we all snack on these, are cucumbers. So you, you can have some cucumbers on keto. They are so good, great snack. Um, you can put some salt on there, some lemon, but what I like to put on there is tajin. Now if you haven't tried tajin, you are not living. So I always sprinkle tajin on my cucumbers. When I was when I first started keto, this was like my go-to because I always craved snacks, I always craved sweets, and I would just eat a cucumber and it would cure my craving. So cucumbers, really good. And just like cucumbers, I keep pickles in my fridge at all time. I have to buy a big thing because my kids snack on these all the time. I like to get these little chunk ones because I can never eat like a full pickle in one sitting. And I like to give them my kids. And these are just the Del Dixie, of course. Um, these have one net carb per one ounce, I guess a piece. So one net carb per piece. I love pickles. I like to eat them with tahini also. You can buy like the little pickles, you know, the big pickles, whatever you like. Just make sure they're not sweet pickles because you not you cannot have sweet pickles on keto because they contain sugar. So just make sure they're regular pickles, but Mm. 
Another great snack for on the go for work or in the car on a road trip. Pickles are a great keto snack. Now, a lot of people don't like these, especially my husband. He thinks they're disgusting, but I like them. I love how salty they are. Olives. Olives are a great snack. I like to get this big jar. They have zero carbs. If you're a person who likes olives, you can definitely have some olives for a snack. I like them. <laughs> I tried to give my son one the other day. It was hilarious. He made the nastiest face. But I love olives. You can have black olives, green olives, however you like them. I know H-E-B. Um, my H-E-B, they have like a big uh, Mediterranean bar for like all the cheeses. And they have all kinds of different olives. Just again, make sure they're not sweet. But great snack. Another snack that I always keep in my fridge, cheese sticks. Cheese sticks are the bomb. Whenever I just want a quick snack, I just go open up a cheese stick. These are my favorite, like the marble looking ones. Um, my husband likes the white ones. I'm not big on these, but they're really good too. Or they have like the mixed ones. Or you can just buy the little cubes. They have all kinds of cheese. They have cheese in all kinds of different forms. For cheese is a great snack on keto. I like to get the cheese stick and to add to it, I just take some deli turkey. And I'll just eat it like this great snack you can also use any deli meat you like you like some ham some bologna just in moderation so great snack cheese sticks with some deli meat now another snack that I keep in my fridge now at all times my husband likes to have it with breakfast is these yogurts they're called too good this is the blueberry kind and this is the vanilla they also have like a black cherry a peach and I think they have like two more flavors but these are the only low carb yogurt that I could find so far. Um, they only have, how many net carbs do they have? They have three carbs, three net carbs for the size of this cup. Now they are a little bit pricey for just a cup. I mean they're not that bad. They're almost two dollars. But So that's not that bad. If you're a big yogurt fan and you really crave yogurt all the time, you could just get one of these. Pop some blueberries on top, some strawberries a little bit on top. Um, you cannot have granola, so what I do for my husband in the morning now that like he likes to have instead of eggs, I put them in a mason jar with some like um, sliced almonds, some pecans, some natural peanut butter, um, little things like that just to make it mix it with the yogurt. So now I keep these in my fridge now because he likes these. So great yogurt snack that you can have on keto and of course you cannot have fruit on keto the only fruit that you can have are berries so i keep blueberries in my fridge and strawberries at all times especially strawberries i love strawberries so berries you can have in moderation because a strawberry i want to say is one net carb per strawberry same goes for blueberries you can have blackberries raspberries any berry family in moderation so I like to eat my strawberries with some canned Cool Whip, the bomb. Mm. Another great sweet cure that I always eat. Make sure you do not get Cool Whip in the tub because that contains a lot of sugar. So the canned Cool Whip only has like one gram of added sugar and one net carb. So it's not as bad as like the tub. So I always eat that with strawberries and my berries, of course. And my other snack that I eat with Cool Whip is this sugar-free Jello. This is a strawberry flavor. They also have the black cherry flavor, which I love also. But I kind of keep the strawberry on hand at all times. So I always, I'll, I used to eat them all the time, but I kind of calm down a little bit. So I'll eat them every once in a while. But yes, you can have sugar-free Jello, and I just put a little bit of whipped cream on top, and that's another great sweet snack that I always have. Now for my last keto snack that I keep in my freezer at all times is low-carb ice cream. Now there's Halo Top and there's Rebel. Halo Top has a lot more flavors. Rebel has a good amount of flavors, but not as much as Halo Top. The only difference is Rebel has six net carbs for the whole pint, which is good because I will sit there and eat the whole pint. Now, Halo Top has a little bit more net carbs per serving, so when I get these, I eat them in moderation. So the net carbs kind of range all 
different by flavor so you just have to look at the label um but they have tons of flavors this one's the peanut butter and jelly if you're a big fan of peanut butter and jelly i t i'm not a big fan of peanut butter but i tasted it and it's pretty good um this one is the blueberry crumble this one's really good also now the strawberry oh my god the strawberry is so good now my husband likes to eat these so i try not to i'm trying not to eat the whole thing but it's hard they are a little bit on pricey side for a little pint they're about four four dollars so you are gonna pay a little bit but if you're a big ice cream fiend like me they're so worth it so this one's the strawberry flavor is the bomb i recommend this one and this one is a vanilla bean now they have tons of flavors all kinds of flavors and i get these from heb so you can find them um now the rebel the what is it the cookie the cookie dough one that one's my favorite um this one is the butter pecan six net carbs i'm gonna show y'all what the inside looks like this is what the inside looks like of the butter pecan now um when i eat the red bull i like to mix it up just to get a little bit creamy to me it tastes so it tastes a little bit better but trust me they're so good um the halo top ones they come sealed like this this is the vanilla bean but I'm telling you, y'all want some ice cream, these are the way to go. Alright guys, so that concludes today's video on my snacks that I keep around the house. I will be doing some more snack videos in the future, so stay tuned for those. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.